Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. My next goal, before I complete any of the story objectives for the characters, I think is to unlock all the story objectives. So we've actually unlocked and completed the story objective for VJ. We've unlocked the story objective for Riley Yu. And Claire, Joanne, and Andreas's story objectives are still locked. So to unlock Andreas's, I need to escape through the Mimic Portal. However, to escape through the Mimic Portal, I need to repair it, which is something that Andreas can't do. Instead, that has to be done by the engineer, Joanne Winslow. So, let's do Joanne Winslow. Let's try to do their story objective, uh, unlock their story objective anyway, and at the same time also repair the thing so that I can play as Andreas in the same run, hopefully, and also unlock theirs. By the way, cool detail that I noticed. Now that I've finally unlocked Claire Witten, I like that they actually changed the description and also how they look. Before when they were locked and we didn't know who they were, I think we saw them, uh, I think they were, well they were, they were like just a silhouette, but I think they had a mop or something in their hand because as far as we knew they were just a custodian. They had like a hat on I think, and they had like a mop, and the description was all about, well, they're a custodian, etc, etc. But now that we know who they actually are, they look a little bit different. And by the way, yeah, their abilities, hacking, stealth, sneak attack, psychic edge, remote manipulation. Definitely a very sneaky character, which is, well, fitting for somebody who's a mole. Should be interesting to play as them. It'd be nice to finally hack stuff for once. Okay, let's go in as Joanne. I hadn't realized this, but apparently I already unlocked Joanne Winslow's story objective. So instead of unlocking their story objective and... Also fixing the uh, Mimic Portal. Instead, I, I guess I'm going to actually do their story objective and also unlock the Mimic Portal for Andreas. Because I don't think doing the story objective will, like, end the level, right? I'm pretty sure last time I did that, or the previous... Yeah, it's just the... No, I've done it twice. Right? Did I do the story objective for Riley, or did I just unlock the story objective? I think I just unlocked it. So I've done it just with VJ, I've only completed their story objective, and it didn't actually end the level when I finished it. I still had to actually escape some way. So I'm assuming the same thing will happen with Joanne, because I think I'm going to try to start the story objective first, just because I just happened to be at the crew annex, which is where the memory marker is. And if I want to fix the portal, I need to go to the Pythias labs. Also, I still need more Neuromods to be able to fix the portal. I think I need Repair 3, which takes 8 Neuromods? Yeah, 8, and I've only got 3. So I'll gather some along the way. In the meantime, we have a lot of radiation to deal with. That is so satisfying. hurt a lot. Yeah, I used the uh, electrostatic burst ability on it and it did no damage. Not surprisingly, it was a voltaic mimic after all. <laughs> it kind of resists that sort of damage. Wow, I'm actually hurt a lot, yeah. Do I not have any guns? I don't, just melee weapons. Oh god. Couple more charges. Radiation poisoning detected. I know I'm dying, but I need those mats. Yeah, I've also found, even though it's a little bit pricey, it costs like a couple thousand points, it is a good idea if you're doing a serious run to buy one of every type of repair your body for burn trauma, skeletal repair kit, etc, etc. Because if you get hurt, like if you have a concussion or you're bleeding or something, it can be extraordinarily hard to actually find one of these. These things are not that common. Even though I just happen to have three skeletal repair kits, so I found two. Still, 
They seem common until you need them and you don't have them and then suddenly it's much harder to move around and you don't have it and you're searching for it and I've died. It's contributed to my to my death many times not having one of these things. Well, hi there. I just need to hit that button. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, hmm. Get him, buddy. Get him. Gate reactivation in. Well, you tried real hard. I didn't even catch your name. Oh, I can just repair him. I got tons of spare parts. Yeah, come on, buddy. All right, loon. Help me out here. Job. Gate reactivation in three, two, one. Typhon material detected. Now I gotta do it once again just to get me through. Gate reactivation in three, two, one. Typhon material detected. Okay. No Titan detected. I don't know if I've ever hurt anything with that charged up ability for this thing. Hello there, friend. Yeah, get him. Good job, Flamingo. I, I really do super love it that each turret has its own name. And I'd like to believe personality. Okay, um, can I repair this? Ooh, I can. This is the first time I will have ever been in here. So this is all brand new. That's like a rare treat because I've, you know, I've done so many runs that most of the areas that I've been to, I've already been to in some capacity or another. So to be to a room that's completely new is like, whoa, what's here? Okay, we're learning all sorts of important facts, such as Riley likes to sleep with two pillows. Double stack it. It's not much in here, surprisingly. Just their computer, I guess. Fatal Fortress. <laughs> Please stop the global emails for business only. Typhon Gate report. Alex, I'm ready to inform you my team has developed an updated Typhon Gate that will function properly with the power profiles of Talos 1. There... Oh, we've read this from, I guess, another computer, right? Showing of chloride, trifluoride, launching it, blah, blah, blah. Gonna see really contain the components, okay. Last used by Margaret Mc McCandles. I don't know if I've ever been in here, either. I should maybe try to locate him. I don't want to try to do too many things in one run, but I'd like to do a couple things. I also can't remember offhand if we've been in Habitation Modules 1 through 8. I don't know if I ever repaired this. It's, um, occupied. Where did that other one dis like disappear to? I covered it in glue and then it just disappeared. That was odd. Can I glue them out of existence? Actually, this is special, right? Ah, max weapon durability increased by 50%, not uh, may make Phantom disappear to another realm. Woodpecker. Military resupply. 
Important note to all crew, a military shuttle will be setting down at Pythias for a brief resupply en route to Talos. All personnel are restricted from a flight deck until it departs. If you are supposed to be on the deck, you will be notified individually. Thank you for your cooperation. Fatal Fortress... <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Regarding lost briefcase... Ionis, you need to get control of that. I'll brief the staff to keep an eye out. This is the last time I'm covering for you. Oh, and then that's in reply to, Hey VGA, I lost the briefcase that Dr. Yu wanted me to ship to Talos. Alex Yu? I was on task, stopped for a couple of drinks in the lounge, and now it's gone. Can you help me? Really curious about that briefcase. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Thank you, Timberdoodle. Oh, I finally got enough neuro mods, by the way, to get repair three. Yes, I can repair anything. Literally, at least if it can be repaired, I can repair it. All right, let's head to our story task. Ah. <sighs> When I get more neuromods, mods, I'm gonna get machine mind and I can take them over. What are you doing, honey? Poor baby. Thanks, Magpie. Oh, Jesus. I forgot it exploded. There was another one. No typhoon detected. Let's go track down Margaret McCandles. Try to get their uh, key card to get into. I forgot the name, but someone else's crew quarters place. Because I'm not sure if I've been there before. They are down below. Okay, hold on. Have I actually been here before? So up here, I mean, I've definitely been in this general area, right? We can go there to go up to the control tower. That's the shuttle gate. That goes downstairs. What about this, though? Have I been here? Dr. Ken Mizuki, crew physician. That's just open. My memory marker's in there. And then this is Alex Yu's office, and I have the key card to that. Have we been here? Thanks, Woodbecker. Like, I don't actually know if I have been here. I don't know if I just never went here, or perhaps this is one of the things that's now appeared now that the uh, simulation has kind of continued so long. Or maybe I just forgot it, and it's always been here. Gay report. Uh. This is the one we've read from the other side, from Riley to Alex. Congratulations. Riley, the members of the board and I are pleased to give you command of the Pythias facility. The work you are doing will strengthen the Transtar brand and is a source of great pride to us all. I really don't remember this place. I don't think I've been here. Ooh, a little hidden away exotic material. Oh, what is that? Asic micro miner. Wait, am I am I gonna mine Ethereum cryptocurrency? Use my uh, spare CPU cycles? What the hell is that? Oh my god, it does! Increases the amount of sim points earned per reward. <laughs> ASIC Micro Miner Plus! Oh god, this is the future, huh? Indentured servitude and cryptocurrency is still alive. Fuck me, that's a bad future. I think I'm gonna go ahead and install it, actually. It doesn't say how much it increases sim points, but it's an elite level thing, so probably does a pretty good job. Wonder where that goes. Let's just 
just the apartment next door, but what about that? Hmm. Let's begin, unless I have the password? No. Oh god! Jesus Christ! What the fuck? I wasn't expecting that. What happened between Joanne and Ken? Warning. Lethal radiation levels detected. This is Ken. Oh my god, is is he alive? Please tell me he's alive. Oh my god, I can't have done this. Joan, please stop. Y you know I can't tell no, you. No, no, please. You have to tell me something. They said you could fix him. I can't have done this. You know me, Ken. You know I Joan, didn't. Even with the reduced gravity, the moonstone that fell on him was pretty big, Joan. I can't tell you anything except we're going to do our best. I just need to know he's going to be okay. Tomorrow. Let us work on him. Goodbye. Did the quest say what happened to, what was it, Brian Chung? Brian Chung. I don't know how it happened. I was working with Brian. We were moving a slab of lunar rock we just cut when the loader lost traction. The gears slipped. It's my fault. The machines are my responsibility. Brian got caught under the rock. He's hurt because of me. Now this whole place is going to hell. Dr. Mizuki keeps putting me off, but I don't trust him. I'm not leaving until I find out what happened to Brian. Says I still need to search the office. So yeah, so this is not the person. I was thinking maybe this was the person they were all talking about. But nope. Unrelated. Oh, 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 hello. Neuromod favor. Here's those neuromods you asked for. I don't care what you want them for, but you didn't get them from me. Just remember when the time comes, you owe me. D. D. Well, it's not Ken Mizuki. Who's D? Oh, there's another note by the neuromods that was under the boxes. Mizuki's password. Regarding Moonworks incident, originally from Dr. Mizuki to Dr. Riendo. That's, <laughs> that's that's funny to me because actually, what uh, the way that I first learned about Prey Moon Crash and what it was all about and why it was so interesting and good is actually from listening to the Waypoint podcast, and it was Danielle Riendo that was talking about Prey Moon Crash. Coincidence? I think not. It's all connected. Dr. Riendo, you asked for a good candidate. I've got one. He's not going to make it. Oh, fuck. I knew it. I was thinking that. After cardiac arrest, you've got maybe 10 minutes tops. This makes us square, as far as I'm concerned. That's probably why we killed Ken Mizuki. Because we found out what had happened to Brian Chung. What he had done to them. Team is on the way to your office. Please have the subject prepped for transport. Diane Riendo. So that's D. That's even more of a coincidence. Diane Riendo? Danielle Riendo? From Waypoint? You idiot. Security just informed me that Joanne Winslow is demanding info about Chung. In fact, she's heading to your office right now. Do something. Where is Brian? What's going on? I just spoke to Alessandra and she said Brian's not in your clinic, so if he's not there and he's not dead, then where in the hell is he? Oh, Ken Mizuki, you're a piece of shit. Warning. Lethal radiation levels detected. Unfortunately, I can't turn them into material. Yeah, okay. Wow, that is really cool. I, like, never used this thing. That is super cool. Alright, uh, what's my goal now? Find Brian Chung. Security station to find them. Right. Okay. Oh, but I'm still trying to find, um, a Margaret McCandles. Let's go find them first. 
pretty close down on crew facilities. Oh, they're just right here by the entrance. Yeah, Kevin McAllister's quarters. Here we go. This place is creepy. Please protect me, Scarlet Macaw. Sending Mimic for isolation. Chow, Mimic B10 is doing strange things. I logged a move, but wanted to let you know directly that it's no longer in the general crater population. I placed it in isolation so you can begin an evaluation when you sign in. Good luck and be careful. Fatal Fortress. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. I'm just going to close that. Bernie Phantom. Not good. Don't want to just run away from them all. No, I think I should just take them on. Alright. Shit. So, I've got the thermal um, phantom, but I also have one of those things that has a bunch of humans in its thrall. So that's kind of an issue, too. I could just lure them all away. Yes. Yes. And then... I don't know what's happening! Whoa, it's messing with my controls. Did we accomplish anything? I think all the humans are gone. Well, that phantom's definitely not hurt. Oh! Come back here. Go back here. Yeah, Thermal Phantom kind of heard that. A lot of activity. See ya! They might come up after me, though. We're good. Ooh, let's uh take back the clock. Turn back the clock. And scared computers just right up here. Brian Chung's. They're in the Pythias Labs. Of course, that makes sense. They're being experimented on after all. And that's where we need to go next anyway to repair the mimic portal. Um, also, speaking of Repairing, that just reminded me of Neuromods. I have a bunch more to spend. A lot more. Let's get Machine Mind 1. Force robotic enemies to end hostilities and fight for you for 30 seconds. And also Electrostatic Burst 2. So that's going to increase it from 25 damage to 40 damage. And it's got a bigger range and it also stuns them for more time. Okay, um, let's hope the tram works. So, slight problem. The tram was working at uh, the crew annex, but unfortunately it wasn't able to take me to Pythias Labs. I guess the tram station was down at Pythias Labs. So I just went to the center thing, assuming that the power was out at Pythias Labs. However, it's not. The power's actually up for everything. So, I guess it's just the tram station that's down. Either way, headed here, got a bunch of equipment and repairs and stuff, and I just headed up to the control tower, so I can glide out in the open air in the crater down to the Pythias Labs. And, as always, there's tons of robotic enemies up here in the control tower, so this is a good chance to try out Machine Mind. They will fight for me. Yeah, get him! Come on, you can do it! Oh, mine lost. Did you just attack me? You know you're on my side, right? That's a very useful ability. I actually don't have a stun gun to open up the gate, so I actually do have to kill all the Typhons that are outside of the Pythias Labs gate. So let's do it.
Thank you. Jesus Christ. You scared the shit out of me. Oh. Ooh, ooh, okay, my shotgun's done for, and I have burn trauma. That's hemorrhaging. There we go. And there's you. I do have a Typhon Spore. You wanna come up again, buddy? No? Okay. Gotcha. This is a really good pistol. It's like Elite or something, isn't it? Yeah, Elite. Okay, let's get Brian Chung. Oh, are they... Oh. I found them. There's Brian. Shit. What do I have to do with Brian? Destroy Brian Chung's phantom. I need to disable those gates. I don't even know how to do that. Alright, we definitely have to just, like, kill everything in there. Um... Oh, there's a lot in there. I can't really do anything with Machine Mind. There's no robots in there. I gotta take out the humans. That's undoubtedly the case. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to kill the humans. Again, I don't have a stun gun or... whatever the one is that takes them out of mind control and just makes them go to sleep. Let's... Lure them all to one place. I got tons of lures. And then... Recycler charge? That should help. That's doing stuff. Oh no, baby. Oh God. Covered in glue. Ow, Jesus Christ. That was an interesting fight. I like that. Oh, I don't think I had this on camera, by the way, but I actually repaired my super good shotgun, the one that had been, I think, burned or something? I don't remember how it got destroyed. Um, yeah, because I forgot that I'm playing as Joanne Winslow, the one character that can actually repair their weapons. So that's handy. Oh, stun gun, finally! Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't have one up till now. Okay. How do I get to you? I think there's some controls up here, right? Oh, I'm sure there's all sorts of nasty stuff in here. There's always at least like a poltergeist. Oh, oh there we go. If 
fight for me. Fight for me. Oh, three. I had three Neuro Mods on it. Wow. What are you attacking? Huh. Anyway, it's not going to be my friend. Oh, there's another one. No, it's not my friend anymore. Thank you for your service. Oh, with all those Neuromons, I have a bunch. What I really want is to get the next level of Electrostatic Burst. It is so useful having a direct damage and also, like, disable Psy abilities and stun things is just so nice. Ah, here we go. Containment Unit A and B. Caution, Typhon release. Seal all connecting passageways and follow protocol. No. Which one's A and which one's B? I don't know. I got the right one. Nice. Oh, I didn't realize I was special glass. Good job, Dota. Brian? Oh, Brian exploded. Oh, they got a post-it note. Brian Chung's to-do. Meet with crew about new harvester assignment. Physical. Teach Met Op some new jokes. Fab new small chisel set. Write mom email. Oh, finish Joanne's present. Oh, wait. Finish Joanne. Joanne Winslow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Joanne obviously seemed to really care about Brian Chung, but I guess more than just because there were a worker who got damaged on Joanne's watch. Sounds like they're either good friends or maybe lovers or something. Okay, what next? Search Brian Chung's room for any personal effects or final words. Okay. We're about to get to corruption level three. Hmm. Well, anyway, while we're here, now would be a good time to repair the thing for Andreas. Which I think is up here on the left. Oh, hold on. I have burn trauma. I need some cooling gel. I don't think I actually have the cooling gel. Damn. Oh, hi. Uh, I need something to throw. Or, you know, actually, I could probably just use a turret. Timber doodle. Get it, get it. Here, let me help you out, buddy. Oh, I have the password to this thing, by the way. I found it again at some point, and I wrote it down. Uh. <laughs> okay, I guess that works. I had like one piece of... Shit, one piece of glue left. friend over there. Target 
Trigger last. Scanning target Typhon material inconclusive. Gotcha. Sneaky little bugger. Okay, let's repair the dang thing. Although, hmm. I do have to keep in mind that any repair that I'm going to do to it is obviously going to be reset when I reset the simulation. I mean, I'm still going to repair it, of course, but... I do have to haul ass, because we're at level... Corruption level 4. Actually, we might not even be able to do this. I think we need to be able to use the computer, don't we? This actually might be the last thing we do. Yeah, they may have structured this so you pretty much have to do this last and complete the story objective for uh, Claire Witten last. Because you definitely have to repair it, which means within one run, we have to get Joanne Winslow here to repair it. And I think we might also need to get Claire Witten here with hacking level four so that we can hack that computer. If so, we need at least two other characters just to get Andreas out. Just to unlock their story objective. Interesting. Okay. I'm pretty sure that is the case. I'm pretty certain we'll need to use that computer. Okay, well. Good to know. And I needed to come here anyway. To Ran Chung's room. We are coming in hot to the crew annex. I am outrunning the moon shark. And we got a techno bath right there. Yes, I made it! Alright, we're back to this nasty area, and we still got these nasty things to deal with. I'll just... sneak? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Lock that behind me. So have I never been in here before? Oh wait, coagulating gel. That's the stuff I need, isn't it? Oh, no, that's not burn trauma. Dang it. Whoa. Oh, that's the present that they were making for Joanne Winslow. Oh, it's beautiful. Trying to get something out that isn't in the way of it. There. Happy birthday, Joanne. Just a little something for you on your birthday. The statue I've been working on in Moonworks is missing a little something. It's not done until you add the final touch. Happy birthday. Aww. Brian. You are never around. I was all excited for you to come see this turret with the new Sentry software. Remember how they used to accidentally target those tanks hanging from the guy lines? Fixed. He's extra smart, so guess who I named him after? Hit me up when you have a minute. That was on their to-do list. It's a draft of their mail to their mom. Mom, I know you didn't think this was the right choice for me, but I'm really glad you're coming around. Working here on the moon has been so amazing. I have to pinch myself sometimes. Even better, I met someone up here. Her name is Joanne. We really click, and hopefully you'll get to meet her soon. Her birthday's coming up, and you know how sculpture is my thing. I made her something out of moon rock. Hopefully they'll let us take it home. Anyway, thanks for the socks. I can't wait to see you next week. So many stories. Please give Katie a big hug for me and tell her not to worry. Love you guys so much and see you soon. Jesus Christ, this is such a heartbreaking story. Uh, what do, what do we need to do now? Find the last sculpture. Or finish, rather. 
in Moonworks. I guess the final touch is something only Joanne knows. Okay, we're now at Moonworks. It said, warning, flooding and electrical damage detected. That's the first time we've ever seen that. We've seen radiation and fire, but not flooding and electrical damage. Oh, that's cool. It's like water pouring down and puddles on the ground. I'm sure we'll see, see some electricity soon, too. Oh, whoa. Please swipe your tracking bracelet to recall your reservation. Aww. Completed. That's such a fucking sad story. Alright, well, I guess we should escape as soon as possible. It's probably best to reset the simulation, right? Because I know I'm not going to get Andreas out until I get Claire Witten over there and with Hacking 4, and that's going to be quite a while. So I don't think there's anything left for this character to do other than escape and get some points. Okay, this Technopath 4 is gonna have to go. Oh, I shouldn't have shot that. I should have machine-minded it. Ooh, that one flying. Wow. Yeah, I have like no ammo for anything. Shit. Oh my god. Fucking hell, that sound. It just broke all my bones. Alright, well, I have a skeleton repair kit, I think. I think I got a bunch of them, don't I? Somewhere? I do, don't I? Yes. Attention. Some mm, just an electrostatic burst should do it. Or is it? I hear it. Yeah, fucker. I need a new medic bot. I've made my way to the shuttle. So before we leave, let's go ahead and spend my neural mods. I can get turret love, aka summon turret companion to increase turret durability to 115% and firepower to 120%. I wonder if they look any different. I hope they look fancier, but they probably won't. Wow, it's not a valid surface. Um, Scanning target error. Insufficient Typhon material found. I can't tell. Standing down. So now where we sit is VJ Bhatia has their story objective completed, as well as Joanne Winslow. Riley Yu has their story objective open. Um, Andrea still needs their story objective opened. Same with Claire because we've never even played as them. So basically, three characters that we need to do stuff with. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to play as Claire Witten.